Hello everyone, my name is Heisong and welcome to Comics VR. Today I'm going to introduce a new project, a cooperative skull train in a multiplayer VR game. It is two player co-op VR game. The objective of this game is to create 3D artifacts by manipulating simple 3D objects such as cube, cylinder, or sphere. To manipulate the objects in the virtual environment, the player will use two hands interactions. The most important thing is, each player will be able to use one hand only, so in order to manipulate the objects, two players should cooperate together to create, rotate, or scale the object. Here's more detail about the gameplay. Each artifact consists of four different objects. Players will manipulate and combine four different objects to create one new artifact. There are four different steps of manipulating the object. First step is creating the object. Players should make the object as transparent guide object in front of them. There are total three different objects, cube, spear, and cylinder. To create cube, each player makes L hand shape and combine together to make square. To create a spear, each player make O shape together with the index and thumb. To create a cylinder, each player make thumb up and touch thumb together. Second step is scaling the object. To scale the object as transparent guide object, each player will pinch the end of each asset and stretch or shrink together based on the ASICs the objects need to be scaled. Third step is rotating. To rotate the object as transparent guide object, one player's hands becoming a knob and the other player will rotate the knob based on the ASICs to be rotated. For example, to rotate the object in X ASICs, one player point the index finger to S axis direction, then the other player will rotate the knob. Last step is positioning. To position the object, first, two hands should be close together. Once they are close, light string will appear between two fingers. Then, right hand player will move the hand to the direction where the object needs to be moved as transparent guide object is placed at. For example, to move the object forward, move the hand forward while the light string is enabled. Same for the left, right, up, and down. Once positioning is done, players should repeat these steps to combine all different objects to create new artifact. There are two ways to play this game, using controllers or hand tracking. As you can see, each player uses one hand only, and they cooperate together to manipulate the objects. Players need to press certain buttons and triggers to make specific hand shape while using the controllers. To make L shape, players should press middle finger trigger. To make pinching motion, players should press a button and index trigger together. To make thumb up, players should press index and middle finger triggers together. Controllers provide haptic feedback when they are touching or interacting together. To provide a haptic feedback while the player is using hand tracking, I develop fingertip birotactile feedback device that provides vibration at the index fingertip. It allows players to receive haptic feedback at the fingertip when they touch or interact each other while using the hand tracking. During this project, I will investigate the user's sense of social presence, presence, engagement, and workload while they are playing a cooperative multiplayer VR game. I also investigate the usability of fingertip vibrotactile device I developed. This project is funded by Institute of Creativity, Arts, and Technology at Virginia Tech. Thank you for watching. I will come back with a great idea.